Greetings, we'll cover a few details about, Carl Benz and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, career and persona, his company Benz and C, Blitz and Benz, C, Benzone, Accolades and Legacy, Demise. German engine designer and automobile engineer, Carl Friedrich Benz, sometimes spelled, Carl Friedrich Benz, was born. His Benz patent motor car from 1885 is regarded as the first usable automobile and the first vehicle produced in large quantities. In 1886, he was granted a patent for the automobile. The first and biggest automobile factory in the world was his Mannheim-based business, Benz & C. It combined forces with Daimler Motor & Gesellschaft in 1926 to become Daimler-Benz, which among other brands manufactures, the Mercedes-Benz. Many people consider Benz to be the founder of the automobile industry and the father of the automobile. Known as Carl Friedrich Benz, famous as German engine designer and automotive engineer, born November 25, 1844, Mulberg, Karlsruhe, Germany, died April 4, 1929, Leidenberg, Germany. Father, Johann George Benz, mother, Josephine Valiant, siblings, Anton, spouse, Bertha Benz, children, Ellen Benz, Richard Benz, Clara Benz, Eugen Benz, Thilda Benz, education, Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, founder, co-founder, Daimler Benz, Mercedes Benz. Benz was the son of Josephine Valiant and Johann George Benz. He was born, Carl Friedrich Michael Valiant on November 25, 1844, in Mulberg, Baden, German Confederation, now Karlsruhe, Baden-Württemberg, Germany. His father operated locomotives. A few months after his birth, his parents got married. After that, he was permitted to use the surname Benz in accordance with German law. He lost his father to illness when he was two years old. Then, in honor of his father, he was renamed Carl Friedrich Benz. Although, his mother struggled to raise her kid alone, she was sure that, she would give him, an excellent education. He excelled academically, while attending the local grammar, school in Karlsruhe. At 1853, at the age of nine, he enrolled in the scientifically oriented Lyceum. He afterwards enrolled, at the Polytechnic University, where Ferdinand Redenbacher was his professor. His original intent was to major in locksmithing. He ultimately chose, like his father, to seek a degree in locomotive engineering. He pursued mechanical engineering studies at the University of Karlsruhe from 1860 and 1864. After completing his formal schooling, Ben spent seven years getting professional training at numerous businesses. He was unable to blend in with any of them, though. He founded the Mannheim Iron Foundry and Mechanical Workshop with August Ritter in 1871. The business later changed its name to Factory for Machines for Sheet Metal Working. The first year of the new business was a failure. Benz eventually realized he couldn't depend on Ritter. This caused Bertha Ringer, Benz's fiancée, to use the funds from her dowry to buy Ritter's entire stake in the company. Benz and Ringer exchanged wedding vows on July 20, 1872. Eugen was born in 1873, Richard was born in 1874, Clara was born in 1877, Thilda was born in 1882, and Ellen was born in 1883. 1890, despite numerous losses to their business, Benz persisted in trying to create new engines. He started creating patented goods for financial gain. He finished creating a dependable petrol, two-stroke engine on December 31, 1879, which was one of his earlier innovations. He received a patent for it on June 28, 1880. Benz designed and successfully applied for patents for the speed regulation system, the ignition using sparks with battery. The spark plug, the carburetor, the clutch, the gear shift, and the water radiator while creating, 
what would eventually become the production standard for his two-stroke engine. In 1882 and 1883, he and Bertha worked on their joint stock company, Gasmotor and Fabrik Mannheim, alongside photographer, Emil Bueller and his cheese dealer brother. Due to the high maintenance costs of their business, the couple was compelled to hunt for partners. But Benz eventually grew tired of the arrangement. He had a meager position as a director and only controlled 5% of the company's stock. Even while developing new items, his suggestions were ignored. It was because of this that he left the company. Benz founded Benz and Company, Rhenish Gasmotor and Fabric, usually referred to as Benz and C, in 1883 with bicycle mechanics Max Rose and Friedrich Wilhelm Esslinger. The business expanded quickly and began producing static gas engines. His ability to resume his love of building horseless carriages was made possible by his business's success. He finished creating his first automobile, the Benz Patent Motor Wagon, in 1885. The first of its type, the three-wheeled vehicle was built to generate its own power. A four-stroke engine was mounted between the back wheels of the vehicle. It was given a patent by Benz on January 29, 1886. The first automobile proved challenging to drive. A modified version of the first automobile, the Motor Wagon Model 2, was unveiled by Benz in 1887. In 1889, the Model 3 was released, and it was on show at the Paris World's Fair. The Benz patent motor wagon was first offered for sale in the late summer of 1888. About 25 patent motor wagons, the first automobiles ever constructed for sale, were produced between 1886 and 1893. The 1888 model only had two gears and was unable to climb hills on its own. Following Bertha's 104 kilometers 65 miles drive in a Model 3 from Mannheim to Pforzheim, the first long-distance vehicle travel in history. The Bertha Benz Memorial Route, which debuted in September 2008, is dedicated to remembering this illustrious journey. Benz and C had grown to be the biggest automaker in the world in the latter, decade of the 19th century. Their output in 1899 totaled 572 units. The company was transformed into a joint stock corporation as a result of the expansion when Friedrich von Fischer and Julius Gantz joined as members of the board of management. The Velo, which competed in the first automobile race in the world in 1894, the first truck with an internal combustion engine in 1895, and the first motor buses in 1895, were all designs by Benz. The Victoria, a less expensive vehicle ideal for mass production, was created in 1893.In 1896, he was granted a patent for the first flat engine he created. On January 24, 1903, Benz left his role as design manager after a number of decisions were put into effect that he disagreed with. Although it was incorporated into the new Daimler-Benz Corporation in 1926, with the help of Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft DMG, he remained to serve as a director on the board of management and was a member of the board until his death in 1929. The first automobiles with the Mercedes-Benz brand name were created in 1926. The Blitzen Benz was created in Mannheim by Benz and C in 1909. The bird-beaked car had a 21.5-liter, 1312ci, 150 kilowatts, 200 horsepower engine, and Victor Hemery of France, the land speed racer at Brooklands, set a record of 226.91 km per hour, 141.00 miles per hour, on November 9, 1909, which was said to be faster than any plane, train, or automobile at the time. This record wasn't broken for 10 years by any other car. In order to establish numerous records of this accomplishment, it was brought to several nations, including the United States. The Benz family, Carl, Bertha, and their son Eugen, moved to Leidenberg, a town 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, east of Mannheim, where they settled. 
In 1906, using only their own money, they established the private company C, Ben Sons, which made gas engines and automobiles. Due to a lack of demand, the latter kind was replaced with petrol engines. While developing its own line of automobiles separately from Mannheim-based Benz and C, this company never publicly issued any of its shares. The high-quality Benz Sons cars gained popularity in London as taxis. Carl Benz sold all of his Benz Sons stock in 1912, leaving Eugen and Richard in charge of the Leidenberg-based family business, while he continued to serve as a director of Benz and C. Carl Benz, at 70, received an honorary degree from his alma mater, the Karlsruhe University, during a birthday celebration in his hometown of Karlsruhe, on November 25, 1914, becoming Dr. Ing. H. C. Carl Benz. Sports car racing participation became a significant way for manufacturers to acquire exposure almost as soon as cars began to be produced. The first auto races were held using the production vehicles, and the Benz Velo took part in the Paris to Rouen 1894 race. Later, the money invested in creating race cars for motorsports brought returns in the form of sales. Brought on by the association of the brand name of the car with the champions. The first mid engine, aerodynamically designed Tropfen wagon with a teardrop body debuted in the 1923 European Grand Prix in Monza, was one of the innovative race cars created at the period. 350 units were produced in 1923, the Benz Sons company's final year of production. Carl Benz customized two additional 825 horsepower automobiles for his own use during the next year, 1924, and never sold them, they are still in excellent condition. Posthumously, Benz was admitted to the Automotive Hall of Fame in 1984. Additionally, he received a place in the European Automotive Hall of Fame. Both the Carl Benz Gymnasium Leidenberg and the Auto Museum Dr. Carl Benz, both of which are situated in Leidenberg, bear his honor. He resided there until his death. One of the most well-known luxury car producers in the world today is Mercedes-Benz. The 2011 telefilm, Carl and Bertha, was based on the love tale of Benz and Bertha. At the age of 84, Carl Benz passed away from bronchial inflammation at his Leidenberg house on April 4, 1929. Bertha Benz remained in their last house up until her passing on May 5, 1944. For another 30 years, the family continued to live there. The Gottlieb Daimler and Carl Benz Foundation, a non-profit organization that recognizes Bertha and Carl Benz for their contributions to the history of vehicles, uses the Benz residence, which has been recognized as historic, as a venue for scientific meetings.